What's up guys, my name is Jellycook5 and welcome back to a player review on the channel today. But before we get into things, it'd be much appreciated if you're able to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. We have a massive talent on our hands. Obviously every Wednesday we release the new team of the weeks and this is the one we've chosen to review. Myra Ramirez, she is a big talent within the Liga F. She plays for Levante and these are our stats there. 93 pace, 88 shooting, 80 passing, 89 dribbling and 90 physical. She displays a four-star freestyle with a controlled acceleration type and a high medium work rate off the bat we've got some such high level stats there in terms of her pace shooting and dribbling even her physical is just unbelievable so it's really really nice to see already we've got some decent stats to be able to show you in terms of her value I think she's going for about 90 odd thousand coins on the market but that probably will go down in time obviously with her being out for X amount of time and being packed more she will go down in value overall in terms of her attributes though she has got some big big detailed stats that is for sure this includes things like her pace, her shooting, her dribbling, everything in regards to that. But we can actually see in detail what she really can do. Her attack position, 86, 90 finishing there, 88 shot power, 86 long shots, 85 volleys, 80 penalties, 95 agility there, 90 balance. I mean, the physical sides of things are absolutely brilliant there. 99 jumping, 97 stamina, 92 strength. I mean, the stats are such at a higher level. It's absolutely brilliant. 91 heading accuracy there also. So she has got some mega mega stats on display so I, she seems a very versatile striker with being able to have all these sort of stats normally when we have strikers we normally phys kind of look on one sort of stat where you go they've got really good points but they've got really bad points but just looking at this without even having to go into games to actually show you what she can do overall it's just absolutely mega and it just gets me excited to be able to show you what she can do on the pitch because I'll tell you now she is one good striker that is for sure and what comes with a good striker is good play styles and he has six on display, which is really nice to see. Let's get into that and see what she actually does. Because in all honesty, six play styles as a striker and a main play style. And for un under 100,000 coins, you're definitely getting yourself a bargain. That is for sure. Here's the play styles then. She's got six on offer, as I mentioned. One of them being the finesse shot there is on the scoring sides of things. Two on the ball control. One of them being the technical and the other being the first touch. And then she has three on the physical sides of things. She's got the quick step. She's also got the stamina there also where she had the high levels anyway, but she's got a play style for it. And then she also has a main play style, which is her aerial sides of things. So that will go into her heading where she performs even higher jumps, a greater improved aerial physical presence. So she's five foot ten. She's got a decent bit of height about her already which is quite nice so she's not too small to be able to get up the jump or jump into the header she's got high level jumping she's got good heading accuracy so with that play style combined I mean you're looking at a very dangerous guard in front of the goal with that being said we're going to show you these clips and then we're going to talk about her afterwards Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night.
gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you be after Chinese News Clips then, we're going to talk about a few things I did and didn't like about this particular card. Unfortunately, I couldn't get rid of the background, as you can see on the back of the card, so I can only apologise on my half. Unfortunately, I'm having a problem with my editing software at the moment in terms of my thumbnails and everything else. Hopefully, I'll have that resolved in the next episode, but let's get into things in terms of what we've actually got. Pros I found. Finishing, heading, pace, balance, physical, dribbling, and stamina. I could talk for hours on how good this card is. It took me, what, about 40-odd minutes to be able to record this video because she just can't stop scoring her finishing is absolutely perfect she's obviously got the finesse trait with the actual play style itself so that really helps her hand but her outside the foot finishing is absolutely sublime you can't knock it whatsoever and in talk about finishing her heading is brilliant her stats really live up to what she can actually do on the pitch her play style don't get me wrong makes a big help in hand but she always gets up for the header straight away that high level of jumping straight away she's already there and then the accuracy to be able to have that at the same time and direct the ball into the goal absolutely phenomenal you cannot knock it whatsoever her pace she already has 93 don't get me wrong but this is a big thing in, in EAFC 24 where players have high levels of pace but they don't actually display it in game she definitely does a big big acceleration kind of factor to her game where she's able to get past defenders and it's so so easy for her to get on the ball and just literally fly past people absolutely perfect and that just goes with her place though also with having the first quick step also so that's very very good her balance is perfect and that kind of goes into her physical also she does not get pushed off the ball whatsoever there were so many big center backs the likes of van dyke tamori big center backs that would you think bully her off the ball in some ways but her physical sides are just so so good and she's just able to run at the fender and even if there's a point where she actually tries to get pushed off the ball she just shoves her way back into it she gets past the defender and she opens herself up in front of goal her dribbling aspects perfect the first touch sides of things obviously go into it also with the ball control so she takes the ball down really well takes a first touch then she's able to move she's able to kind of weave in and out defenders which is really really nice at the same time and you just find that when she's on the ball there's no stopping her we, she's not been able to get pushed off she's really really fast and she can dribble past defenders absolutely brilliant to be honest it's so so nice to play with in terms of her stamina she's really really good i mean she just literally just does not run out of puff whatsoever there is not a point in the game where you feel like you have to substitute her like some players that you do have and it's just a point where she can keep going she'll probably be very good in the foot champs kind of sides of things as well especially if you're in the extra time the cons I found were only the weak foot sometimes when it wasn't on a preferred foot she wasn't able to find the back of the net as easy but I'd still think the free style would, would kind of be kind of bad to look at to be honest because this is a phenomenal card I mean it's so enjoyable to use not many people know about Ramirez not many people use players within the Liga F but I feel like it's time to start doing Doing so, that is for sure. I've used an abundance of kind of strikers this season. I've been able to go through different strikers that have got low levels of pace, high levels of pace, decent shooting, decent dribbling. The list goes on, to be honest. But in terms of where I'm actually leveling this card, I feel like it's actually one of the best and it's such a good value at the same time. So even if you can't fit her into your team and you feel like you want to give her a go in terms of being able to go on the sub bench and be able to integrate it into game during time, then it's definitely worth a go, that is for sure. And she's only going to decline in, in price, I only can imagine, with her kind of listing originally when the team of the week first came out 150,000 coins to now her being about 90 odd thousand even when I'm speaking it probably could be going down so definitely snap this player up she is absolutely phenomenal and hats off to be honest because a lot of team of the week cards are very much brandished with a bad name because there's so many special cards on EA FC 24 now this is the only issue that we have being in the era now where EA are releasing so many cards and team of the weeks don't get looked at as much they kind of get brushed to the side but she is definitely one to look at that is for sure but I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video cheers